Hey YouTube, welcome to Ahsoka Episode 4 Reaction Video. Welcome to Ahsoka Episode 4 Reaction Video. This episode seems to be the last of the trailer footage, which means the rest of the series is unknown footage. I think after this episode, it's just gonna get so much better. Should we do a theory recap? Maroc, I know I went on a bit of a Starkiller ramble last episode. I don't think it is Starkiller. I think it would be a phenomenal idea. I think it would be great. It would be really cool. However, it was in the credits last episode that Paul Darnell was Maroc. In the credits, it's listed Maroc, Paul Darnell. So, based on last episode's credits, I don't think that Maroc is Starkiller. I think Maroc is just Maroc. You know, he's just a new character. He's, that has been alive throughout, you know, uh, most of Star Wars. We just had no idea who this character was until now. I think it's a new character, just like the these Dark Jedi. If anything else comes up throughout the episode, I'll, I'll bring it up and I'll try to be brief. I did hear that this episode, I think, is like 40-something minutes, so should be a good one. I do know that next week's episode was directed by Dave Filoni, so I'm hoping that next week is Clone Wars flashback. I'm hoping we get to see Hayden next week. But that's next week, and let's get started on this week. What did I miss? You almost died. Multiple times. Having Hugh Wang say, what did I miss, is the best way to start this. Burgale! Space whales! And I love how they look like real whales with Across just large tentacles. Power level would be capable of a hyperspace jump of astonishing speed and distance. Jedi have taken refuge in the forest. Hunt them down. <coughs> All right. So I think we're gonna see. I don't think we're gonna see Ahsoka versus Bail on this episode. I think we're gonna see. Sabine versus Shinhati and Ahsoka versus Maroc. I think we're going to see that in the forest. And allowing Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. I hate to say it, but these backdrops kind of look fake as shit. Like, I, I, they definitely use the volume. But... I can't really complain. Is everything alright? Why would it be? I don't want a master arguing. Be careful out here. Oh damn, they already found the ship. Oh, this is gonna be a droid fight. Best get underway soon. Is that a note of fear in your voice? <laughs> Experience. Damn, I really love Balon. That's so sad that his actor died. Ray Stevenson. Fallen Jedi. I have a feeling we're going to learn about Balon's backstory. At least a little bit. But I hope we get into just as much with Shin Hati and Maroc. I don't really care about Morgan Elizabeth. Okay, great. Her ancestors are Night Sisters. But, you know, I kind of care about the Force users. I'm not. I like how they, uh... Should I leave? Show Sabine kind of like what? loading her gun. It's kind of cool. Finally, Finally some progress. Oh, there goes your progress. Because now you're going to get attacked. And it's going to get into a big fight. Yes, you ain't kicking ass. I would be upset if you didn't use this. Yes, Sabine in action, finally. And they're keeping that true because Sabine had been shot in the armor before with uh, blaster deflections. And she was fine. She got hit in the chest and the helmet. Stay together. You always did better that way, in my opinion. Well, you say that. We 
better get moving. And now they're going to get separated by the end of the episode. Yay, the Rebel fleet. Or I guess New Republic fleet. But you can't leave without authorization. Watch me. <laughs> oh, the ghost looks great. Oh, I can't wait to see the ghost in action. On your signal, Phoenix leader. Love that so much. I hope that uh, Carson was part of Phoenix Squadron and Rebels, just like as a background character that somehow survived. Witchcraft. <laughs> Going somewhere? Hmm. This will be rematch for episode one and two. <laughs> So she's only choosing to use one blade here. Okay. I trust her. She defeated Morgan and Manda with one blade, so... Although, to be fair, that was a Beskar staff, and this is a double sided spinny light mover. I like that flat background. Helicopter away. Did you just fucking kill him? What the f- Get the map! What did I say? They get split up. First of all, Ahsoka is phenomenal at killing Inquisitors really quickly. And second of all, what the fuck was that? Oh, are we gonna get Balon versus Ahsoka this episode? We might. Protect the map until I send for you. We are gonna get Balon versus Ahsoka this episode. So this has to be the last of the trailer footage minus what we've seen of Thrawn. That will probably come next episode or the one after, but I don't know when they're actually gonna introduce him. What is your goal here? There's an unfortunate evil I must destroy in order to create. Okay, that's his motive. I wish they could have talked about Balon's past just a little bit, at least like a brief summation of how he survived you know and just came to me because he's in that qui-gon stance there's a theory that balon was one of qui-gon's padawans before obi-wan which i think would be really cool i mean look at that stance tell me that's not qui-gon <laughs> Okay, in this fight, I understand why she uses one blade. She's gotta grab the map. It was a little weird in the last fight, though. But she was able to take him down, so it did not matter. <laughs> Excuse me? You have no power. She's got that. Gone. Now she really can't use two blades. Yeah. Can't use two hands. I know you feel that Ezra Bridger is the only family you have left. What do you mean? She's got her brother and her parents, right? I don't or, know what you're talking about. Or did they die between rebels and now? That your family died on Mandalore. Oh, they died on the purge. Wait, that makes so much sense. Sabine. Is she gonna go with Bela? You will be reunited with your friend. Yeah, and then you could fucking easily kill her right after she's reunited. Come on. I thought I heard the force joke noise. Shin, release her. Shin. I 
gave her my word. And unlike her former master, I shall keep mine. Balin has remedied the situation. Calculations are complete. The hyperspace route has been established. Send the shuttle to retrieve the good Lord Balin. Fulcrum, do you copy? Fulcrum, come in, over. Yes, 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 affirmative. This is Fulcrum. We are down on the surface of CETOS. Repeat, we are down. Can you send assistance, over? What can you tell me? The enemy has built a massive hyperspace ring. Do not let it escape. Where are Sabine and Ahsoka? They are attempting to stop the enemy from the surface. General, scans are detecting a ship bearing 5 Mark 16. I've got it. Let's cut across the axis and block its path. Calculations are complete. Return at once. Understood. <laughs> no one will be following us. Sure. That thing looks amazing emerging from the clouds. Dropping six incoming new Republic craft. They are obstructing our path. Ignore them. Engage the hyperdrive. Oh no. That's gonna go right around them and they're gonna get caught in that. In the world between worlds? <gasps> no. <gasps> Again? Why does she keep coming back here? And how come this time she's just she just woke up in the middle of a one of those bridges and not came out of the world? That was I didn't expect to see you so soon. No. <gasps> oh, he looks great. Actual chills. Vader theme. Oh, oh yes. How? What? I'm so confused, and I'm just. I'm at a loss of words. Did Anakin just pull Ahsoka into the world between worlds? What the fuck? I was not expecting to see hate in this episode. The de-aging looks so much better than Kenobi did. The look of Anakin. Oh my god, he looks amazing. 
Aiden Christensen, let's go! Oh my god. I don't even know where this can go. Well, Ahsoka's in the world between worlds right now. Apparently with Anakin? So, did Anakin at some point go to the world between worlds and pull Ahsoka out? Or is she just tripping balls? Like, I... Don't even know. <sighs> okay, so Sabine is on her way to Thrawn and Ezra, along with Balon and Shinhati and Elizabeth. Oh my god. But Ahsoka is. Okay. I think that Ahsoka is going to learn, somehow learn how to get to where they are in the world between worlds, and from there she's going to come back to Setos with Hera and Huang looking for her, and then like the whole next episode is going to be Ahsoka finding a way back out of the world between worlds, learning how to find Ezra and Thrawn and Sabine and everyone else. And then she comes back into the real world. She sees Hera and Huang looking for her. And then they figure out how to get to them. And that's like their plot. And that ends the episode. But the other plot is definitely going to be... <gasps> it's going to be a Thrawn-Sabine reunion. Either that or the entire next episode is going to be their travel through hyperspace. Because they're going such a great distance. Alright. I've... I mean, I, I've talked through the credits. I had to process that scene. Oh my god. That's it. I'm done. I got no more words. I want next week to come so badly. <sighs> Alright. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great night. Peace out. See ya. <laughs>